black pearl. I've made some progress and there's a couple things I want to bring to your attention that I have purchased that have been a help. I'm getting into some very small minute work or details and the super glue was becoming clogged and things like that so I found this kit where you can get several plastic containers, several tips for it, and then probably the most helpful is this bag of 300 uh, application tips. And basically what you can do is transfer the super glue into this container, then this slides over the top and down, and then you take a pair of scissors and you clip this off to whatever point you want. But it, from what I've been able to tell, it is a sealed end. So I slice that off, and now you can get a real small amount of super glue to come through that. Now, after you use it, it does clog up. So it's a one time use and done. So that's been helpful, and I'll put on the screen where I purchased this. It was Amazon, and it wasn't very expensive. And the other thing that I experienced, and this may have something to do with age, is I could not see well enough to, uh, to get it into the right spot. I was trying to run some thread through some small uh, rings, and I could not see to get it to spin through. So I found this on Amazon, about $15, $16. And basically, they're just some uh, magnifying glasses. But for me, this worked out well because this piece goes up against my forehead and this fits behind my glasses. And so you can tell that uh, everything fits comfortably. It has a band if you want to use it. And then these lenses, there are six different magnification levels. And this helped immensely. You know, the focus area for me was about this far away. So that's where I have to have the ship. Again, I'll put on the screen where you can purchase this through Amazon. I'm sure there's several different varieties. Go with your own preference. There was one that was less expensive, but I stuck with this one. So as far as what I've accomplished since my last episode, is I've put the cannons all across the bottom. I've put the window uh, covers and I did just super glue these on. I considered drilling a hole through these uh, cannon port covers and then putting a, a rope through it and then through the ship so you could you know you could see where they would open and close those. At the last minute I decided not to. I just didn't decided not to go into that much detail. So the cannons are in place and then on the top I've decided for the time being not to age the cannons. I have them in place and I'll show you what I did as far as securing those, some of the rope uh, connections to hold them in place. That's done. I've begun some very tedious work and it's uh, constructing the cannons for the upper deck. For now I'm going to leave them brass and hopefully you can see these two little rings here. These are for support ropes that will uh, hold the cannon in place should it be fired. That's what I think the ropes were. And then in the very back there's one that I've made that secures to the floor of the ship. So when these are in place you can see I've added connectors two on that side, two on that side, and then one here on the floor. And this cannon will go into place right there. And if you remember I had mentioned the what I found online on that uh, the other ship, the Rattlesnake, and they had this drawing of a cannon. I've kind of used that as a guide. I don't have the pulleys, so I can't use the pulleys. Um, I'm not going to invest any more in getting small pieces like that because they are so tiny. But let me show you how I made these loops to secure the cannon in place with the ropes. This is wiring off of an old lamp cord 
and there are very thin strands in there and I separate it out, I pull out one strand and then this is one of the tools that I have and it uh, just happens to be about the right diameter and then what I do is I take and I loop this around and I've also done multiple loops but this I'll just do one loop that on there and then I spin it and hold real tight with my thumb and index finger and I spin this around approximately eight to ten times hold it a little bit tight and probably a quarter of an inch at the most probably less snip that off then I can slide it off and let me see if I can't get a real close-up and show you this some of these I put together after the can was together and some before and there's two ways you could do it uh, you can take a very small drill and you can drill a hole or I found it just as easy to take this needle tip put it where I want the hole and then I just kind of spun it and it would go through as well as the drill and it made a little smaller hole and I need two, one up towards the top and one at it, just in front of the rear wheel next I've got that little copper piece that I made and I've done both, I've done super glue and I've done uh, just regular glue. This time I'll use the regular Again, this glue. This is almost microscopic work. And then you find that little hole, insert it. Now make a second one put there. And then when you're done, this is what you'll have. On the open end of the ship, you can see I've positioned one cannon. So you can see the entire cannon itself. So you can see the brass cannons in place. And my philosophy on this is the captain has required them to keep these polished and looking nice on the upper deck. Now I still have the closed side of the cannons to put in. I do have a request from viewers. If anyone can help me determine how tall all the masts should be. I would love for someone to help me out with those dimensions along with the the width the cross members that the sails will go on. Then another thing that I decided on is I purchased a brass plaque that reads the Black Pearl 2019 through 2020 because that's the amount of time it's going to take me to build it and I'm going to attach that to this base and then that'll be a permanent record of who made it and when I made it. What I'm in the process of doing now is I've added this kind of a rub strip. I already had one up here. I've added one down here. And now I'm putting brass nails in every uh, two and a half centimeters approximately. And then I give myself a little starting hole with this. And then I've been taking the small hand drill, drilling these out. And the reason I've determined to do this is otherwise it splits that rail because the wood is thin. I don't drill all the way through. Just probably an eighth of an inch or so, maybe. Because I want a little wood left to catch the nail. And then I've been putting just a drop of super glue inside that just to make sure they hold in place. And I've been just tapping it in. And then use this punch to be able to nail it in.
and I'll continue that all the way down. Some of the ships have a total of three, one up here towards the top and two along the bottom. But because these drain holes that I put in, these little ports, I accidentally put them in too low. So um, the first one really should have gone right along the bottom of the cannon openings. I couldn't do that, so I'm just going to probably do one. I may come and put one. I could go right along here. So I'll decide that here shortly, but gives you an idea how that's uh, going to look with the, the brass nails. This is the completion of those brass nails added to those rub strips. Pretty happy with that. I'll end up giving that another coat of the tongue oil, which will hopefully help hold those in place, although the super glue I'm sure will hold them. So I need to complete that on the other side and then finish putting the cannons in place. I think I made an error. For some reason I was thinking that these holes were to light the gunpowder. I've decided instead they're really to hinge the cannon if you want to hinge it. So I'm going to try to remove these and turn them sideways so those holes don't show. But my error, I've got two of them loose and I haven't even started on this side so I'll be able to correct that easily on this side. So progress continues. I'm liking the way that it's looking. It's a shame that uh, I was looking online trying to help someone out to find one that maybe you could build with uh, the instructions provided, but there are so many of these out there that are just such poor quality. Worse than the one that I bought. This one, I'm guessing, is just the, uh, the one that's just under $100. $100. But even those now come with instructions that you're supposed to uh, click on online, and they're even worse than what I received on the CD. So I'm not sure what to tell you if you're considering building one of these. Again, I'm happy with mine, but without instructions, it was tough. So I hope this helps someone out there that's trying to build it. And the real tricky part is going to be the masts and the rigging. There's really no instructions for that. If anyone out there happens to know how to determine what height the masts should be and the supports for the sails, how wide they should be. Uh, I'm just going to have to go by feel. I think I've got a formula that I'm trying, but I don't know if it's going to work out real well. I also broke off one of these and they quit working, so I've ordered some new lights. I've got those right down there, so I'm going to have to drill some holes and rewire these three back lights. Uh, I'm not real happy with them, but I think when I, I'm going to do some paint work on them to make them look aged, so I think they'll look better once I do that. Again, thanks for watching. Thanks for following along on my building of the Black Pearl.